Hi, I'm Chris Ward, the technical writer at Chronosphere. Welcome to the first part of my conversation on observability with Joe Piscaya, an independent industry analyst. You can find links to part two and three of the discussion in the description below. Let's get started. Today I'm joined by Europe, uh, an independent industry analyst in um, a whole bunch of spaces. What, what kind of spaces interest you the most? Oh, so my interest mostly these days is, well, in the developer experience um, okay. kind of area, yeah. uh, which is, it, it's fairly new. Um, it, it's kind of a mushup of a couple of things. DevOps, obviously, some infrastructure, it's my background. Mm -hmm. um, and then also anything that helps developers be more self-sufficient in the enterprise when they're creating software. Well, this, I think that leads us perfectly to observability, which is, I guess, something that attempts to do that. And um, what does observability mean to you? And why do you think it's important for cloud native computing? Right. So let's begin with what is observability. There's, you know, there's a lot of definitions out there. There's a couple that are pretty common, you know, the three pillars, you know, metrics, logs, traces. Um, but then that that constitutes what makes up observability, not necessarily what it is, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, observability is a practice, just like DevOps is, where teams have the ability, both technical and from an organizational perspective, to be able to look at their application, see what it's doing um, in the broader kind of value stream or workflow where that application or service is performing work and see how it's doing, right? Is it healthy or not? Is it okay. performant enough or not? Are there errors that we cannot explain that are causing bugs on the front end, on the user side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So observability really is a set of practices, not one you know, piece of technology that helps development and operational teams to figure out what's going on with my application in production. Okay. And the second part of that question is, why is it important for cloud native? Well, now with cloud native or with organizations building their own software more and more, that observability uh, piece becomes more important simply because we're now building that software ourselves. We have to be able to look into um, that piece of software to see how it's doing and to see how it is affecting our bottom line. Because, you know, that's the other part. Uh, we used to have software mainly to help our, you know, our office people to be more productive. Mm -hmm. But now we're using software to actually make revenue, to make money. Yeah. 